Let's rock, baby. Um, well, let's yeah. get out of here. I'm sure we have we've done everything in this room. Let's just leave. Yeah, the other thing I was gonna say about air raid, like if like you don't realize how little time you have. Wait, were they not supposed to attack me yet? Uh -oh, that was, no, that was uh oh, that's fine. It's carving of the Judge of Death. Oh right, this key opens up down here. Right, right, right. My mistake. So yeah, this thing just now you're gonna get shit for style. That's for sure. However, you're also gonna get to fucking blow these people to fucking shit like it's no problem. Um, man, when they introduced Gunstinger, I was like, you motherfuckers. Of course they did. You took the thing and then you twisted it so that it's another thing. And it's all fucking amazing. What a cool little area. Let's hop on this for a second. Come on. It's the worst. It's just, the worst. Just hop on. It's the absolute Please worst. Please don't change camera every time. And the fact that they did it in 4 even, it still is like, I just... The ones in 4 are really hard. And you, it's not even like a little, like, you just, just have to know, yep, yep. and you just have to, yep, yep. Oh, oh there we uh, go. Delicious. And then you get to see that up there. Alright, let's, let's take a look at this. Ow! There's an immense Ow. power. It will not allow anyone to get closer. The idea of Dante not knowing and just touching it and going, ow! Well, that actually makes perfect sense because somebody who can heal from grievous injuries doesn't need to be careful. No, but the other thing is because he's a demon boy, you, you, uh, you the assumption is that he's familiar with demon trinkets and, in the, all, and that shop is full of bullshit that he's come to understand. I suppose. He is never it? really seemed... Oh, by the way, DT is a thing in this game. Yep. And it's awesome. There you go. You just pop it, you gain a huge speed boost, you become a very generic looking demon, and, uh, and that's that. Yeah, um... Uh, 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 Sh uh, uh Shin Megami Tensei... I have not touched the franchise as of... Not yet. And it will leave in the, in the near future. Oh. Luckily, with the three bars that you get right away, you can just DT like fucking crazy. So, like I said, I'm 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 a fan of like, like the bug stuff is is cool, but like I'm a fan of just more straight up like, um, straight up, like straight up demon designs in a lot of cases, but uh, uh, arm sheaths sell me really hard. Yeah, and. Uh, Bug wings for coat makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And also Kamen Rider. Mm -hmm. And so in the end, you're like, yeah, it was the right choice. Yeah, bugs. It was the right choice. And then SMT got to have Dante from the Dumb May Cry series. There you go. Totally worth it. Wearing the right jacket. Yes. It's never been more worth it than that deal. What's uh, what's SMT artist's name again? Um, uh, Kaneko. Kaneko, that's yeah. Right. I was gonna say Ikeno for a I second. Forget, I forget no, their first right. name, but I remember that. Ikeno. Incredibly distinctive fucking art style. Oh, yeah. As I take a sip from my drink, I forget that shit attacks me. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but the um, colors of these marionettes have a tier listing associated with them, in which the darker the color, the tougher they are. One of the interesting things that I forgot about Devil Trigger in this game is that, so you have your, uh, this combo, that one, which is harder to do than the other two. The DT version does that every time. Hey. Which I suppose is supposed to be your little hint of like, that hey. there's more to it. Hey, there's a hidden, hey. This is where the guiding souls gather. Ooh, I guess we'll have to come back there later. Um, down we go. Yeah, but I have to say too that uh, when it comes to like fucking demon designs and shit, when when in four when Dante gets his um, um, uh, dreadnought, yeah, and like, he gets a coat as and, part of the and DT, it covers over like oh, that's just the best, and it stays on him too. Like well, that's just the best. It's luckily, like, okay. this time I completely done everything in this room. Okay, there we go. Oh, evil witch dot wav dot wave. So these these guys are back in five. 
Yes! After being very missed for a long time. The Sin Scissors. The, and like, I remember, I don't know who showed me it. I think it was a uh, Shmup God guy that showed me it, maybe. But going from like, oh, these are an annoying enemy to fight, to single-handedly fucking like that. seeing the lineup is like, oh, these are the best enemies in, in any video game ever. Yeah, they're like, great. These are just the best enemies ever. Because you just fight one normally. Oh, yeah. Here's you fighting one normally. You just... Okay, I don't I don't think I'm able to fight them normally anymore. <laughs> Cuz they they fucking they move around, they take shots at you. So a lot of the, uh, for for years I thought that that was only possible with the shotgun because of the spread. That's what I was taught. Guess what? It's absolutely possible with the pistol. You just do that. 1 2 Ah. No. Oh, it's finicky here though. See but but like to, to illustrate the point of There. It, yeah. To illustrate the point, you you need to fight one normally. Just so that Fuck people, it. Because there's a dirt. I don't know how to do that there's anymore. A, so there's a normal and it's a normal enemy that you fight and disappears and attacks and, sw and swings scissors at you and so on and so forth, right? But what that is is if you swing your sword, it bounces off the scissor, it flex, and, and it goes into a little bit of a hit stun state. Mm -hmm. And if you line your gun up with its head at a 90 degree angle, it's an instant kill. Bam. But it has to shoot it in the head. It has to. It's and, I, and and what sucks is that no other enemy in any other Devil May Cry game has, has that. that concept at all. And I fucking I was it's like, weird. God damn it, you had gold. It's weird that that never came back. Why would you never bring it back? <sighs> uh, congrats to me. I mean, like soft targeting different areas of a body is like a boss thing. Only gotta see, darn. But, um, yeah, as a main enemy bit, I love little... I feel like the game like would that. be a very different game if too many enemies had a concept like that. No, no, it doesn't have to be, and it doesn't always have to be an instant kill, right? But, like, you know, something as simple as, like, cutting a tail off or, you know, maiming wings. All right, well, unfortunately, I don't have enough to buy any of these because they're all pretty expensive. I'll be honest, I don't really care for a round trip either that much. No. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just grab one blue orb. Okay. Yeah, so the orbs you want to get are the ones that increase your permanent... Permanent abilities. Stats. Yeah. Blue, purple, not gold. Fuck you. Fuck you, gold <laughs> orb. It's tempting when you suck. I will attempt to get through this game without using one gold. It attempts. It's tempting when you suck. Yeah. When you're eating, when you're getting your ship. Now this is impressive. Yeah. The, this like molting yeah. fucking yeah. environment. Yeah. yeah, yeah super yeah, yeah. impressive. I'd like to see one of those little um, like God of War, how we made it happen things for uh, that effect. The pride of Lion is granted only to those who choose the path of trials. Well then, let's get. Yeah. So the 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 fucking occultist engineer that designed this building, like I'd like to see them going through all these convoluted steps, or is it just multiple like demon it's hell, worshippers hell. that are layering it on Look top at of this each other? awesome camera shot. Look at it. It's yeah. gorgeous. But you know what it reminds me of? What's that? Two. Because two has a bunch of these. Ah, uh, it does. I forget. With the Lucia shit. But it is a nice shot, and it's a cool part of the castle. Hey, look. The Staff of Hermes. Some kind of mysterious force, but I don't Can't quite, quite understand, understand it quite yet. yet. I don't have my Metroid powers. It states, go back, and thou shalt return from the abyss with the Lionheart, and thou shalt receive the Pride of Lion. Oh, just go back! Oh, okay. Let's just go back, then. Yeah. Uh... Oh, no! Yeah, again. Oh, my health is draining! Yeah. No! Another moment. Oh god, I forgot these enemies existed. Oh, they're just skeletons. They're just skulls. This is video games, oh, yo. Hell yeah. So Underwater skeleton attack. Look at it. For real. There we go. Oh my god. It's, Look at that shit. Did you see that? It's the, it's never That's been crazy. It's never been ever. It's at a dumb cool high. Alright, let's get back and no. Mm -hmm. 
fuck. I forgot he has an animation for hopping off like that. My bad. Now we have to do this again. Now you have to do this again. Fuck. Oh no, what what happened if I just did what what would happen if I just did this? Oh. I'd get all all the skelly boys. I mean whatever. Just yeah. Wow, they just died one, huh? Yeah. Well, that's not very exciting, isn't it? You know, I don't think there's been a single skull in the history of man that has survived a shotgun. Like, they're probably direct. Is. They're probably is. probably at least one. Like, full direct. Aha! Hey, free orb. Blue orb fragment. Thank you. We call them blorbs in the uh, in the nothing community. <laughs> okay. Sorian Dash has closed the playthrough. I didn't. You didn't tell me he was orbiting our truth. <laughs> he, he was showing up for forty minutes to see what was going down, and by the end of the first episode, he was. Hey, like, listen. This yeah. is not an LP of people that are ex that are experts or big goods at Devil May Cry. In fact, this is an LP of people that love Devil May Cry. Yeah, I was gonna say, don't even say that we know it. I know it. Okay. But I mean, like, we have some factoids. Fuck yeah. We have oh! 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 No! Oh! oh, and I, I did it so well the first <laughs> shot. <laughs> now I can't even get back up. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. It's like the tables in, in, in fucking... Oh, fuck. Watchamania. The God. platforms. The platforms. Fuck. You will never stand on me. Oh, man. All right. Let's switch back to... By the way, this is before Devil May Cry invented weapon switching. Uh... Have you heard of Wolfenstein 3D? Okay, real-time weapon switching in, a, in an action game. <laughs> or you just hit a button. You hit a button. I mean, I hear you, but... You know what the worst part is? Is the DMC2 is the one who invented it. I mean, I hear you, but have you heard of Metroid? No. You don't switch weapons in Metroid. That's silly. You just have all of them. Because you don't do combos. Shut up! It invented it! It invented it! Let's get the pride of flying and get out of here. <sighs> have you ever played Doom Troopers for the Super Nintendo? I've never heard of that. I've never even heard of that. <laughs> <sighs> All right, boy. First encounter. I love Phantom. Now, I remember this being hard as shit, by the way. Yeah. So, you know, don't expose your balls. Disappointing catch. What a big surprise! <laughs> I hope for your sake you got something inside that. Starting the trend of. The most typical and predictable of demons being the first in the game. Ah, I'm a demon! The most demon-looking demon you can get shows up right away just to establish what your character is rocking with. So, you're- it's- I wouldn't say it's hard as shit, but considering this was a, essentially a new genre at the time, this fight was a rude fucking awakening. For what the game was going to be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, the other concept <laughs> that it's insane that they introduce is the ability to just frame, not all back. sorts of shit. That shit. Well, it's um, not just frame, it's. No. Ooh, yeah. So, that's the way that I try you and second, do it. Second actually. swing? Yeah. Okay. okay. Because I find that it's more reliable. You have more active frames on the second yeah. swing. Okay, that's. No, makes I, don't, I don't know about that. All I know is that I find it more reliable. Okay. I've only, I was only ever introduced to, uh... So the fun part the about DT is you don't have any hit stun of any kind yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. Letting you just fucking dunk yeah, on yeah, these yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> just dump on them. Man, that second swing probably does make it easier, huh? Well, because... Timing-wise, you can pre... You can pre Pump it. Well, because for me, I go, oh, and that's really fast. That's reactionary, right? That's what I was used and to And then using. I always do, like, that second one, I'm probably wrong, but it feels like it's longer, right? Okay, okay. 
Maybe, yeah, I, I, maybe. I just remember trying to do it on the first one so, and kind of like. So we're supposed to go out here, but it's what? Like, we're gonna go out here. Yeah, but I, I, anyway, I remember like having a, a difficult time at, at first. Pat, what are you uh, doing? What are you doing? Why? And this is when Devil May Cry invented secret missions. <laughs> no, it didn't. But it did make them kind of popular. Before they exist. Well, because they, they, it was it's also just... like. It was also. It wasn't that it was combat challenges, but it was combat challenges that were like legitimately weird and difficult to find. But I, I don't think it made them popular in the sense that like it the made them popular within itself. I was, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like what, are you what are you talking about? Because like Alpines and shit still are like only in the places that we love them, and they're not something you constantly run into in other games. Fuck yeah, secret mission down. So yeah, that was. This it's the secret missions are often like little and like in God Hand it was just talk to the fairy yeah you know it, it, secret missions ended up Clear. being like little tutorials in some cases where they'd give you something to do and you like fuck oh whoa right and then you would do it and you're like oh now I know how to do it for other stuff yeah. uh, the, the fuck <laughs> uh, you know what I was gonna say uh, what comes to mind is enemy step twenty times yo so that's not in this game no. Um, and, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but that's the reason why we're not playing DMC3, because I have no no confidence in my ability to complete that secret mission on camera. <laughs> that took me ages. Yeah, I that. Just... I that. And the camera didn't help. Oh, God. But, but by the by the end, you were like, I know how to do this. I always knew how to do it. I just didn't know how to do it 20, 20 times, times in a row. That means jumping off of the enemy's head. And uh, the timing on that means pressing the it's, jump button it, one right of the, on the top of their hitbox. One of the best things about DMC5 is people showing off in videos like yeah. Enemy Step, the hitbox, is like a fucking whole platform now. It's, it's it, huge. It, it's basically like if your model is touching their model and you press the jump button, you're going to step off. Good. Good. It count. Good. Big step. This mission structure is at odds with the game that it's in. In later games, I felt it wasn't as weird, but in this game, it's actually kind of weird. All right, so we have a lot of things we can do right now. We can go this way, and we can do the Pride of the Lion, or it's the we can return. fight Vincent again. So, fun fact: this is the best farming spot in the game for red orbs. Uh, but it requires like nerves of steel. Because you need to fucking beat Phantom beat him, here. Beat him here. Which isn't that bad. Especially since your oh, shit oh, oh. actually it has time. has active frames and you can mm -hmm. reflect it into him even when he's doing it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you basically just do that over and over and over and over and that'll let you buy all the all the stinger upgrades and all that stuff. Uh you run back and, and repop it? Yeah. Uh, no, you just reload the mission, because it's the very first fucking thing that happens. Oh. So well, now we have 1600, which means we can buy Stinger. Good old Stinger. Oh, that 4K for, uh, Air Hike is... It's crazy, and then once you get it, you're like, I never want to not have this ever <laughs> again. Oh, wow, look at you, look at you. Oh, there's a, there you go. See, they're, they're this very is, this annoying. Is what it looks like. And they go into the walls. They're yeah. very annoying. Yeah. Yeah, 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 which yeah. is why you end up learning that shit. Because this is what's happening otherwise. It's and like, now, I don't even feel like it's worth fighting them in a, in a hallway. And right. imagine doing this when you have other enemies coming at you. It's very annoying. Right? Right? So that's the deal. Hey, what's up? Fuck you. But it's, but it's so fun to line it up that it makes it worth it. It makes one of the most annoying Do fights. Do you remember this? One of the funnest fights. Uh, Phantom Baby. Kill all the Phantom Babies with your feet. <laughs> I don't remember this. Nah, it's it's not with your feet. It's, it's just kill them. And you, ha you have enough time to do it, too. You killed Phantom twice. Now it's time to eliminate his progeny. It's vital that you kill them. But Phantom still comes back. In two. And in Bayonetta? Kinda. <laughs> Got him. Did I do it? In no, time? no, back corner over there. 
Did I not do it in time? No, there's a bunch of them over there. No, no, you don't have to kill everyone in the room. You have to kill a hundred. Looks like I fail. Nope. Okay, I got it. Blorb. Thank you, Blorb. Yeah, check out your mom's ass. Look at it. You see it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what Dante's about. Don't you love it when your hero stares at his mom's ass? Like, the game tells you right the game away. tells you, yo, that's his mom. Immediately. Yo, he's... And, yeah. you, and for a second... Yo, he's hot for that. But at first, se you looking at it, though, in the beginning, you might look at it and think, oh, that's his own girlfriend, you know? Or like, oh, that's, that's his ex. That's his ex or some shit. Yeah, like, you might assume. But no. That's how annoying that shit is, by the way. It's very annoying. It's as creepy as it appears to be. Mundus is a weird fuck. He sure is. I don't like it. Also, why does he get more powerful when he dies? <sighs> That's just one of those things, What kind of man. sense does that make? Cried a lion. Here we go. Hey, oh! It's just a lion. I guess I ought to hit it. Uh-oh. Hey, it's a radical fucking enemy. <laughs> the shadow. And it attacks you in its own cutscene. Yeah, he comes at you hard. So is this a, is this a Resident Evil effect as well? Uh, the shadow? Yeah. No, that, there's none of that. However, no? the way okay. it attacks you looks just like a bunch of Resident Evil monsters. Okay. You know, the, the flesh monsters? Because this looks, it looks like something that would be from a recognizable thing in a different franchise, but I guess not. Okay. And look, I did enough damage to him, which means he is now going to try and attack me. So that he can kill me. Wow, it's almost like he popped his DT. Almost. Sorry, kitty. Enemies popping a DT. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Why would anyone ever do that? That's absolutely absurd. And now I got most of my health back. Yay. Time to not go in that direction. Time instead to go this way. For something completely infuriating. This is probably my most hated secret mission in the entire game because it's bullshit. It's absolute fucking bullshit. Hey, do you think Mundus is propping up these puppets himself? Yes. They're not just demons possessing he these puppets. He is the puppet master. He's actually doing the string work himself. Absolutely. Okay. Without a doubt. Okay. He's pretty, pretty... He's a total asshole. Yeah, it's pretty difficult to do that. Especially when you're just made of three docks. And you're like a statue, right? Yeah, you don't really have a you have a form, but not really anyway. Stylish. stylish. There we go. So as First you get ray. further in the game, stylish becomes easier and easier to achieve because it's about varying up your move set. Yeah, you have the similar uh, combo restrictions that Skullgirls implements, where variety. Yeah, so I've done like five stingers in a row. Matters now. more. Oh, I forgot about that! It makes you a puppet. Variety matters more than anything else. Even if the move sucks. Even if it sucks, which many of them do. But that's how they balance it. And that's why, uh, as you Ugh. can imagine, switching styles later on in previous later games... Becomes the dopest shit ever. Because you're doing fresh shit. All right. The god of style is impressed with your sick-ass variety. Why am I not going back downstairs? Is that a bug? Like, straight up. That's supposed to go back downstairs. Mmm. Hit that door. Let's hit that door and then go back in. Fuck off, I heard you. Yeah. I heard you, you fuck. Oh, you guys just respawn, huh? Always. I forgot about that. Oh, come on, man. What's up with... Uh, yeah, yeah. Bugged out. What's up with Japanese-looking shut up sigils shut in up. this gothic Christian household of a church mansion? All right. <laughs> this is where it's gonna get rough. Which mission was this? Three. Um, yeah, you don't have enough DT to last. No, you don't. 
So the solution is you have to, you have to take them out one at a time. It's the only way. Nope. Nope. I want that one. Nope. 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 Are you sure? So luckily, jumping is super. Good. Now I'm not. Ugh. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. This one is tough. And this was before uh, DTing would heal you a little bit, right? <sighs> ah! You don't have the ability to choose no. no I, I guess you. You don't have the ability to choose no. I guess you. DT does heal you a little bit, but it is a, quite a little bit. It, it, it Then it just increases later on, then, yeah. is what it is. Okay. So let's try with the pistols. Because that's always another thing, too, is like, you're like, as you're getting desperate, pop it because you might get Oh, a great! It's one of those fucking secret missions. The ones that disappear on failure. Is that gone forever? No, but it's gone for this remainder of this mission. Oh, fuck, yeah, okay, okay. It's very frustrating. Frustrating? Yeah, whatever, I've given up. Yes, DT also charges your shots. It hell yeah it does. Makes the pistol shots actually worth a damn. Because the demon juice goes into the gun. So I'll have to go and get that later. And then the gun fires demon bullets. So the usual way is that you shoot one down and then DT to kill it. And then you dodge that. And that's the hardest part of the whole fight. By far. Alright, you fuck off, I guess. Well, now that I got Stinger, I guess I can just go ahead and buy some health or some shit. Whoops. I forgot about this. This one's crazy infuriating. Because it's without Defeat using your it. weapons. Ah, Use so your feet, just Dante! Just stop around. There you go. Smaller room, though. Yeah, much. But it lo lower time. Like, this is the rate that they need to be squashed at. Yeah. Oh, failed. Failed. <laughs> Don't do this. The moment, the moment it, uh, it stops happening. Oh! Yeah! Oh, that was lucky. Wow. That was really lucky. And then you just... Ebony and Ivory, guns made popular by Rocket Raccoon. That's correct. Are the signature weapons. So I got this stuff. Don't really care for any of you. Can I get a blue orb? Yep. I don't know about you, but the way that I basically do these kinds of upgrades is I go, is this more expensive than this? And I go the cheapest one. If they're both things I want. I remember just alternating between life and DT. Yeah. Like, I should have gotten DT by that logic. By my own logic. But I didn't quite. Oh! Okay. Can you knock those back? You can deflect them. But you can't knock them back. They won't They won't return to sender. Hmm. Uh, I even shot them earlier. So these are synth sights. Yeah. Uh, they're not very... There are very few times where you actually have to fight them. They're super cool. Like, to be honest... Like, puppets are kind of just annoying to look at by the end of the game. I have a feeling these are supposed to be zombies. Like, the mask that they wear yeah. looks like it could be, like, technological. And I had always, in my mind's eye, um, felt that, oh, those were supposed to be robo-zombies. Mm. Like, controllable zombos. So those combo walls get really good later on, too. In the series, yeah. When it's like, again, the god of style is like, impress me. Impress me. With Show me. us what you've got. Show me some dope shit now. This is straight up Rick and Morty in. Man, switching between these guns is annoying. Yeah. Lu luckily, later in the game, you stop switching your guns ever. <laughs> Not even a once. Almost as if, like, some sort of D-pad would, would speed the process up. D-pad is for... nothing, apparently. It's almost like... Almost like? Hey, look. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. That's fine. I mean, it's just, you know, it's the style of the game. I We all understand, but... You know. I mean, every time I do it, it's like, <laughs> hey, look! And I try and do a thing, and then it's... The Botchamania platform oh, strikes fuck. again. 
<laughs> oh, hey, guy. Hey, check this one out. <laughs> like, if I want to be really an asshole, I can I'm stick. Oh, what the fuck? You can what? <laughs> you can Stinger over to it? Yeah, but. Yeah, because Stinger does the auto jump, but uh oh. Death, I, sentence. death sentence. Can't be used as a weapon, even though it's really cool. It's a cool-looking sword, but yes. It's got those stupid little, um, Notches. bridges. Yeah. 